boy with with my headphones on. I was really sad. I was gonna talk about. <laughs> I was gonna talk about loneliness since my mom passed away. But I turned my camera on and I look like a boy taking these off. I was literally just sobbing that ever since my mom passed away. I can't. Grief is so weird. Ever since my mom passed away, it's been really lonely when my dad goes to work as a truck driver and he's gone all night and I'm alone at the house by myself. And usually at this time I would go annoy my mom. She would wake up because she'd go to bed early and then she'd wake up by now, by like 11 p.m. And you know, annoy her, you know, tell her about my day, tell her about special interests, she'd tell me about her day, snuggle, chill, whatever, just be in each other's presence. She like matched my energy, she matched my weirdness and my silliness and everything and you know i could just be silly <laughs> i'm not saying i can't be silly with my dad but like we're our schedules are so opposite of each other and it's different i was liter literally had to sit down because i was sobbing after pretending i was beyonce <laughs> grief is weird <laughs> it's a journey but it's mental health awareness month and my mental health has not been the best this month I mean, it's only been three months since my mom passed away and everybody tells me that I'm still processing. They're telling me it's only three months, but it's like, I don't know, like I've lost people before, but this is my biggest loss and it's so slow. And I know it's not going to get necessarily better, but like, I don't know, I thought I was doing better. I thought I was managing it better. And now I'm on month three and my grief like completely shifted on me. I'm just tired anxious and everything's changing and i'm autistic and that's not cool <laughs> that everything's changing 